Jump, de jump, jump, jump. Go Harvey, go Harvey, go Harvey, go Harvey. This Harvey kid, is he really good? He's a legend. He comes in here once a week and beats every game I have. Harvey, this is Charles MBA. He's an executive with Vicious Videos, the company that makes the game you just destroyed. Hello, Harvey. I hear you're one of the best players in town. I have a business proposition for a boy with talent such as yours. Harvey, this is so cool. Imagine your very own arcade game. Harvey doesn't own this. We're merely lending it to him for a week. It's a prototype of our latest game, Monsters, Myths, and Mayhem. I want Harvey to thoroughly test it and give us his expert opinion. It won't take a week. Harvey will beat that thing in a day. Or less. Perhaps not. This is no ordinary game. I think it's... <laughs> Do you girls use perfume, hairspray, deodorant, nail polish, or shampoo? Nothing <laughs> sets off my allergies. Worse than latest cosmetics. <laughs> Maybe you two better split. I'm afraid he'll blow his nose off. Fine with me. Mr. Mucus is grossing me out. <laughs> so, what makes this game special? It's because... because... <laughs> oh, tell him, Dell. It's the latest in cutting-edge virtual reality technology. When you wear this headset, the game becomes more real than real life. I should know. I, I designed it. But I should warn you, uh, prolonged exposure... Dell, don't prejudice Harvey. I want his untainted opinion. But, Mr. MBA, uh, what about the flaw? I told you, there are no flaws. Just a few minor glitches. Now start the game. Whoa! It's totally awesome! So you've only told me about a dozen times this morning? But it isn't like any other game. It's set in ancient Greece with gods and monsters, and it's all so real. It's like... It like... Totally awesome, so you've said. Come on, let's get to class. Ugh. Ten letters with three Zs. That's got to be worth about a jillion points. What kind of word is Zortzblatz? Uh, a magic word? You shouldn't have said it out loud. I'm home. Chloe's here. Hey, you two. Pull up a chair and join the game. Thanks, but we have to call Harvey. He went home early yesterday, and today he didn't even come to school at all. Hi, Uncle Quig. Zortzblatz. <laughs> <sighs> I hate coming over here. I told you Harvey wasn't home. That's why he didn't answer the phone. He's probably with his folks. No, they both work. Look, his bike's here. Chloe, I'm worried. We gotta go in and see if he's okay. Oh, no. Told you he was here. Uh, Hi, Harvey. The, uh, front door was open, so we... Uh, yeah. Harvey? Harvey, you who you have company. He must really be into it. We gotta get him away from that machine. This is terrible. It's like he's a zombie or something. The game has him hypnotized. I know. Let's just pull the plug. That's weird. There is no plug. And there's no off switch. Now what? Let's call that MEA guy. He'll know what to do. Vicious videos, Charles MBA's office. How may I help you? I've got to talk to Mr. MBA. My friend's playing one of his games and he can't stop. Mr. MBA isn't in right now. Perhaps you could try tomorrow or the next day or next week. A doctor, no, a psychiatrist, an electrician. Who can you call with this kind of problem? Hello, Yarandolvich Radio Network with the wise warlock. 
So, caller, what's your problem? Wise Warlock, this is Sabrina. Hello there, you little cutie pie. Don't tell me. Your problem is, your friend's hooked up to an experimental video game and is acting all zombie and creepy-like. That's right. How did you know? What can I say? I'm good with exposition. Now, nah, listen carefully. Your friend's essence is trapped inside the video game. The only way to get him back is for you to go into the game and rescue him. Me? You want me to go into a video game? What, am I talking to myself? Yes, you! But be careful, Sabrina. This is serious stuff. I've got to go inside the game. Uh, Sabrina, you can't go in there by yourself. What if you can't get out? Look, somebody's got to rescue him. Well, then, no way are you going in alone. I'm going with you. Whoa! Retro look is this? You're lucky. Huh? This little ensemble's all leather. Check out this place. It's so... Don't say it. Totally awesome. Greetings, players. <gasps> and welcome to Myths, Monsters, and Mayhem. All characters' names and incidents contained herein are copyrighted by Vicious Videos Incorporated. Aunt Zelda? No, though I may appear to be. Thanks to an exclusive patented feature, all the characters in this game will look like people you know. I am Athena, yes. goddess of wisdom, your guide to this game. Okay, Athena. And just who are we supposed to be in these get-ups? You are Zabrina, warrior princess. And you are her trusty sidekick, Scabriella. Hey. Fine, Scabriella and I are here to find another player. But the only way to find someone would be to play the game and catch up with them. So how do we play the game? The goal of the game is to reach the Black Citadel and capture the treasure within, the fabulous Golden MacGuffin. The Citadel lies at the end of this path. Along the way, you will encounter challenges. <laughs> but fear not, you will be armed. <gasps> Don't look now, but I think we're bad girls. You'll also need this. It's all the game's rules and regulations. Refer to it if you're ever in trouble. Ow! Oh, uh, it's so heavy! Here, use this. It's a magical mini pack. It will hold objects much larger than its size. There, packed and ready to go. Good luck, and thanks for playing Monsters, Myths, and Mayhem. Remember, if you get in trouble, use the book. I wonder what Zelda uh, Athena, meant by challenges. I'm not sure. But there's nothing my witch magic can't handle. Besides, if it gets too bad, I can always zap us out of the game. Huh? What's with the roadblock? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's worse than a hairball mixed with pin feathers. <laughs> huh? What are you supposed to be? Hey, I ask the questions around here. I'm the Sphinx. I ask riddles and you have to answer. So tell me, what animal has four feet in the morning, two at noon, and three at night? Hmm. Oh, 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 I know. I read about that. It's man. He crawls on all fours as a baby, walks on two legs as an adult, and uses a cane in old age. wrong -o. It's a nine-legged psychopompus. Stand back. <gasps> I'll just zap that cootie into an eggplant. Huh? Sabrina, make with the magic! Uh, I can't. My witch magic isn't working. 
sure you can't zap it? My witch powers don't work in this world. I can't even zap us home. We'll just have to play the game till the end, or be stuck here forever. Forever? Then we really are in trouble. <laughs> Wait a minute. What did Zelda, I mean Athena, say? Remember, if you get into trouble, use the book. Yeah! yeah! Maybe there's a solution in here. Now look under pest control. <gasps> Well, I hope you girls are happy. That psycho Pompous will be in one foul mood when he wakes up. Hey, we beat your monster and we did it by the book. Well, aren't you special? All right, the rules say I'm supposed to give you something for winning. Here, the legendary Singing Shield. Uh, thanks. Why is it called the Singing Shield? Well, since you asked. And a one, and a two, and a... Something the world is made for fun and frolic, and so do I, and so do I. Something get well to be all melancholic, to pine and sigh, to pine and sigh. Finiculi, finicula, finiculi, finicula. Joy is everywhere, finiculi, finicula. Thank you, trusty sidekick. Look, over there! Is that Harvey? It is him! We've got to catch up! Whoa! Oh. Ow. Defilers! <gasps> Desecrators! Teeny boppers! Hilda! Wrong! I am Aphrodite, goddess of beauty, and you two are trespassing on my sacred temple! It's not like we had much of a choice. Nevertheless, such sacrilege really ticks me off. You must be punished. Keep away, or I'll, uh, do whatever you do with this thing. Please, me fight? Huh, I might break a nail. Hey! Not only are you trespassing, but you're breaking every fashion rule. <laughs> Pathetic. Let's see. You seem to be into leather, so I'll just turn you both into... <gasps> Think mere cloth can protect you? I'd laugh, but it causes wrinkles. Chloe, the shield! <gasps> How lovely I am! I figured the only force powerful enough to stop her is her own vanity. Now circle behind her. Does this frock make my hips look big? Be brutal. Gotcha! Eep. Surrender, <laughs> or we'll, uh, we'll... <laughs> Muzz up your hair! Ooh! Okay, okay! There's no reason to turn ugly here. I give up. Well, aren't you supposed to give us a prize or something? It's always about you, isn't it? Oh, very well. Here, your very own sample kit of goddess Aphrodite's beauty aids. There's lip gloss, nail polish, perfume, even some dental floss. Just put it in the pack. This way to the labyrinth? Legends say you can get lost in it forever. Hey, look! Harvey, we've been trying to catch up with you. Harvey? I recognize not that name. I am Spartacles, Warrior Supreme! No, you're not. You're playing a video game and you're confused. Hey, you over there? You guys know the way to Troy? Uh, go to the Aegean and turn left? Huh, thanks. Hey, where'd Harvey go? Oh, no. He must have gone into the labyrinth. We can't go in there, look! Watch for crossing minotaurs. Well, I don't care about mazes or minotaurs. We gotta get Harvey. But we'll get lost for sure. Maybe not. Where's that beauty kit? I've got an idea. While strolling through the park one day, in the merry, merry month of May, I was taken by surprise by a pair of roguish eyes. In a moment, my poor heart was stole away. A smile was all she gave to me. I'd rather be eaten by a monster than hear any more of that. I'm beginning to think we'll never find Harvey again. <sighs> but at least we haven't seen any monsters. <gasps> Shh. 
You brutes. You just about gave me a heart attack. But aren't you the Minotaur? Don't you trap people and eat them? Usually, but I've been lost in here for weeks. I'm tired and cranky and I need a fatty snack. Yeah, but first, have you seen Harvey, er, Spartacles? Sure. I gave him my golden key and he took it and ran. He had a map. I, I don't suppose you guys have one. No, but I've been leaving a trail of this dental floss we got from Aphrodite. All we have to do is follow it back to the entrance. Good thing it was the Jumbo Roll. For he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow, for he's a jolly good fellow that nobody can if deny. If we can survive that, we can survive anything. And for rescuing me, take this. It's not much, but it's about all I have left. Uh, thanks, I guess. Goodbye! Don't be strangers! Nice girls for warriors. What? Not again? I'm lost! Help, girls! Anyone! Help! It's the Black Citadel! And there's Harvey! Harvey, wait for us! <laughs> oh, made it! Where is he? Oh, great. Here we go again. Harvey! Harvey, where are you? Harvey? Oh, Harvey! This has to be the last room. Nothing in here, but what is that? That must be the Golden MacGuffin. It's the treasure at the end of the game. We've won. We came all this way for an Egg MacGuffin. So where's Harvey? <laughs> Harvey, who did this to you? I believe that would be me. Now the question is, how did you two get in here? Mr. NBA? Why the surprise? This is my game. Of course I'm not really here. Actually, right now I'm sitting at my desk watching all this with a virtual reality headset. And I'm afraid you girls are in big trouble for trespassing in my game. Us? You're the one in trouble. The real Harvey's outside hooked up to your game, acting like a zombie. Yeah, your game is dangerous. It's addictive or something. But that's the whole point. It's designed to be super addictive, to keep you little kitties putting quarters into my machines. That's terrible. We're gonna call the police, the FBI, a lawyer. Oh, I doubt that. You see, you're not getting out. In this game, I'm all powerful. Face it, children. You're simply out now. Maybe, but we can still Follow me! Ah! I can't believe we got out of there alive. This is unseemly. I am Spartacles. I do not run, I fight. Something tells me, Spart, you'll get your chance. Foolish kids, in order for you to get out of the game, you'll have to beat me. All of me. Ugh. He may be all powerful, but he still has allergies. Chloe, you're a genius! Hold this. What good will a horn do? Nothing until we fill it full of Smelly Lady's cosmetics. There's, There's nothing, nothing you can do to stop me. I, I am. am. I am. Invincible. Well, I'm not invincible, but I do have a horn full of all kinds of smelly girly stuff. And this is what I have to say about you and your game. <gasps> That, that spell. spell. It, it's... it's a combination of all the cosmetics you're allergic to. <laughs> Quick, get in the bag. Huh? B but I won't fit. Just do it. <laughs> How, How could, could one little girl undo all my beautiful wickedness? <laughs> I think a magic pack would have more leg room than this. We have triumphed greatly, though in a manner not strictly kosher. Who is yon lout? He looks, uh, familiar. 
Is everybody all right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, sorry about the game. Somehow it got broken. It's not your fault. I was afraid the technology was unsafe. The minute I was put in charge, I rushed over to put an end to this. What happened to NBA? It was terrible. He was at his desk testing some equipment when he sneezed so hard he blew himself right out the window. Haven't seen him since. Oh, look at this mess. I'll get a crew to clean it up immediately. And I'm gonna go lie down for a while. I'm feeling sort of dizzy and... Confused. You did it, Zabrina. You beat the monsters and rescued the dude in distress. Couldn't have done it without my trusty sidekick, Scabriella. But I've had all the mythology I can stand for a while. Thank you.